student dimensions. I seen a YouTube video the other night that was talking about time and space and all that stuff, and it got me thinking about you know the dimensions. Um, you know, dimensions are generally explained as the past, present, and future, and you know the science and everything of that. But I thought it was a good way to kind of transition to just our lives in general. Uh, you know, as a student or you know any any role any of us have in life. You know, we have control over our present situation. You know, the minute we're in right now, you know, we can control that. And, um, you know, we observe, we react, and then we just, you know, we decide and make choices in life. And that's what we do right now, in, like I say, in the present. Um, and so my segue here is uh, as a student, or this could be something at a job or something too, or a family or whatever, but. Uh, when you are light when you are late or submitting an assignment or, or completing a task uh, generally it's usually not because something happened uh, you know it's usually because you made a decision you made a choice to not do it whatever it is now I know in, in real life there are things that happen once in a while like a death in the family or something but generally um, you know we make a choice not to do something you know it's not that oh it snowed or something uh, you know and uh, and just point is it's it's a choice we make and uh, you know we have no you know while we have no control over the past we still can control the present uh, you, know, you have no control over the future uh, you can plan for the future but today right this minute uh, you have no control over it uh, other than you know planning for it and you know um, you know what you do today every moment of your day you control it. Uh, you evaluate, you make decisions on how to react to everything going on around you, all right? And, uh, but you cannot, you cannot remain in the past or dwell on it. Uh, you cannot ignore uh, the control you have over the present. You know, that's another point. You know, you are in control of your life right now, and you cannot just ignore that because you're so focused on past events. Uh, you know, you dwell on the past, ignore the present, it'll just set you up for failing in the future. And I kind of equate that to, it's kind of like, you know, you do not study for the test. You take the test, and you, you know, tomorrow and you fail the test. I mean, and so that's my thing, you know, if you're having problems or issues uh, from past events or you can't get a, a, a tight grip on, you know, your present, you know, what you're doing day to day, you're just setting yourself up for failure tomorrow. And so that's my point on that. You know, the choices you make today uh, become permanent in your past and it does impact your future. And so, you know, uh, just choose wisely. That's my, that's my suggestion for today. All right.